Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Uh, today we are going to keep working on the demo project that we started a couple of videos ago. Specifically, we are going to work on getting predictions from a model that was registered on the model registry. So let me share the screen and show you what we have so far. So we have the model registry and we have two versions of this model, register model. Now let's see how we can retrieve uh, this model um, get some predictions using scoring data. So this is the code that I have prepared for this video. Uh, the file is called batch inference. Um, in this case, I'm using two functions from the package, um, get feature data frame and get train test score set, which is splitting the data into training, testing and scoring data. Of course, in this case, I am only interested in the scoring data. You usually have to implement a different logic uh, to get uh, production data, but in this case, since we are just doing this for demo purposes, well, we have this basic scenario. Uh, now, how can we specify the, or how can we get the model from the model registry? First, we have to use uh, the model you write, um, which indicates uh, what model or which model we want to get from the model registry. Uh, we have models, the name of the model, and the version. In this case, it's latest, but you can do one or maybe two, but usually it's latest, right? And then we can use mlflow.scikit-learn.loadModel to uh, retrieve the model or to load the model. Uh, if the model is like, let's say, um, maybe TensorFlow flavor, well, you're going to use here something like TensorFlow, right? Or maybe uh, Keras. Uh, it depends on you know, the flavor or the type of model that you are trying to retrieve. In this case, it's a scikit-learn pipeline. And what we have here, it's basically the scikit-learn object. Print, let me print this just to show you. Here we have the pipeline, right? We have the transformer and the classifier. And since this is a pipeline, we can basically use all the methods that we have available for scikit-learn um, estimators or pipelines, like for example, predict. And we can pass the scoring data. That's what we are doing here, right? We're getting the predictions. After that, we are creating a data frame using the predictions and the sc scoring or the targets, right? Uh, in a real scenario, you will not have these targets um, because um, usually when you have a model in production and you want to get predictions, you only have the features and you want to know the, the prediction, right? In this case, since it's a demo project, we can compare the prediction with the target and get a sense of the performance of the model using classification report in this case, which is coming from scikit-learn.metrics. So let's run this code and see what happens. Okay, as we can see here, um, the performance of the model is very good, which is expected. Um, here we can, we can see some predictions. Uh, a very good model. So yes, uh, that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching it and see you in the next one.